Norway is the happiest country in the world? What's the secret? Wow, I can't believe that a wealthy country with free healthcare and education, high wages, a strong middle class, and nearly a month paid vacation time by law is happy. Yeah, that's so shocking. It's like, why would you want paid vacation? That's mandatory and, and free stuff. That, that sounds like it sucks. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy Long Nail back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash facepalm. Let's get into it. Today in Target's parking lot, Guy, sign this petition for voter ID. Me, do I have to show ID to sign it? Guy, no. So how do you know I'm a voter? We verify name, address, and a signature via the voter registry. So you just explained why voter ID is not necessary. Yeah, unfortunately, if this hypothetical conversation even happened, the dude that's trying to get you to sign doesn't care because they get commissions for every single sign that they get. They probably 99% of the time aren't there because they're trying to really persuade you for their cause. They're probably just there because they saw a gig that said, oh, we'll pay you a dollar per signature. And well, when you can get 50 signatures in an hour, it's a pretty good gig. This dude that opened a potentially dangerous bag ends up getting tackled because he walked past the explicitly marked off caution tape and the 50 patrol cars surrounding it and thought, hey, yeah, nothing strange is going on with this free bag. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take from it. So not only is he taking something that isn't his in front of tons and tons of people that can do something about it, but he's also taking from a bag that, well, could go kabow any second. Name a color that doesn't have an E in it. I'll wait. Gray. Bro, <laughs> these bait posts are so annoying because it, it, it's usually pretty obvious that it's bait. I mean, not going to lie, I've fallen for some of these. I never comment on them. Sometimes I commentate on them without knowing. But, you know, you guys cut me some slack on that. But it's like, ugh debate and then of course now here i am talking about it so i guess it worked but uh, i'm face palming myself right now dear h&m this is an image of two mirrors in your store one on the right shows a normal reflection my normal height and weight 5 7 size 14 on the left you can clearly see i appear shorter and fatter why on earth do you have curved mirrors in your stores? They show an incorrect and unflattering image and frankly have no place outside of a fairground fun house. And then this absolute mad lad decided, oh, I'm going to open this in Photoshop, cut her out from the one picture where she says she looks normal and compare it directly next to the one where she says it's curved. No, what do you know? It's still her with the exact same proportions. And for whatever reason, she was just feeling herself in the one on the left and not in the one on the right. Maybe the camera angle, proximity to the mirror, whatever. But I think this one's on you. And if you have body image issues, that's something you should take up with yourself, not with H&M. Because why would they want to make you look unflattering in their stores? If anything, they're going to try to make you look as good as possible when you try on their clothes so that you actually buy them. I need you tomorrow. Saturdays are my days off. I'll be with my fiance. I'm short and I need you to come in. Okay, how much am I getting? What? You're short staffed and you need work tomorrow. We call that expedited. For $39.75, I can be there tomorrow. For $13, i will see you on Monday. <laughs> Turning the tables on his boss. Now, this is a risky game to play, but I can totally see where he's coming from because it's his day off. He values that time more so than on the days that he's expecting to work. And well, this is how capitalism works. So either pay him or, well, deal with it. That's pretty simple. Prosthetic arm, left or right. Using this for the VVAX. Best worn under a winter jacket to disguise your good arm. Available in various skin colors. Registered express delivery. Bro, really? This is what we have people doing now? They're going out of their way to spend probably hundreds of dollars if it's an even semi-realistic prosthetic arm. Pro I mean, honestly, 
probably thousands of dollars. Those things are crazy expensive just to get the V shot. And then what? You're literally not doing anything. I understand that's the purpose here, but is this to make a point or somebody p please explain this to me because I guess my little pea brain can't understand why you'd get a vax in a fake arm. Imagine you in the hospital bed fighting for your life and your grandson doing this, literally making a TikTok, completely mocking you and posting it for the world to see. Because honestly, that's all he cares about. Dear men, take your 21 days leave from work. Go home and tell your woman that you lost your job. Explain further that there was some loss and you had to use your savings to settle. Spend the next 14 days observing how you're treated at home and discover who you marry. Hmm, I have a better idea. How about before you play these games, you make sure you're marrying the right person before you marry them. I mean, if you're already married, doing this seems kind of pointless. I mean, doing this seems pretty pointless to begin with because if you lack that much trust in your partner, there's probably a good reason, or if not, you have some serious working to do on yourself. Either way, this isn't a healthy way to go about solving your issue. The lack of trust you have is only going to get further amplified by doing stuff like this. Please don't take this advice. It is horrendous advice. Instead of playing games with your significant other, like you're 14 years old, how about you have a real conversation with them up front about the problems that you guys are having, and then maybe, shockingly, you guys can actually come to a conclusion on how to solve it. And, you know, if you try, and a few months down the road, nothing changes, then you can take the appropriate actions. But at no point is this ever going to be the solution to further a relationship in any sort of healthy way, shape, or form. Ah, yet another TikToker doing something completely outrageous for nothing other than, I don't know, 1,200 views? Wow, that was totally worth it now, wasn't it, buddy? I mean, these people are so out of hand. I don't understand how they haven't seen anybody else that tries this kind of stuff and gone, ah, oh, yeah, maybe my health and well-being is worth more than a few views on TikTok with a minute chance of going viral. It's like, bro, you can't replace your eyes. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash facepalm. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra. And that'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time. Peace.